As a 40 something year old woman, there are certain things that I avoid doing with my style because I don't want it to age me. And the mistakes I'm sharing in today's video are things that I have seen that definitely will age you. Now, I remember being in high school and my friend's mom would basically shop at the same stores that she would shop at. And they were kind of, they looked more like dressed like sisters, even though her mom was a lot older. And that's the first mistake that I see. You don't want to be shopping at the same stores or in the same departments as your daughter or a 15 year old. When you're doing that, you're buying clothes that are made for teenagers and not made for who you are today. Another mistake is wearing clothes that are no longer in style. So maybe something looked so great on you in the 80s and you just absolutely loved it and you didn't let it go and you're still wearing it. Now, while we're kind of trending back into the 80s, it's kind of different if you've already lived through the 80s. It kind of doesn't work if you go back to wearing some of your like 80s pieces, your stonewashed jeans, your crop tops. That's kind of for the younger generation now. It's more their time to wear those items. Now this next mistake is similar to shopping at the stores that your daughter shops at. You also don't want to dress too young for your age. Now, while I feel like any age, you can definitely express yourself through your clothes and really just enjoy your clothes. You don't have to, you know, you turn a certain age and then you only can get to be one way. That's not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is that you want to dress your age. Even though crop tops are in right now, I'm not going to wear a crop top. It's just, it's not something for me to wear. And while you might be a 40 something year old and you might want to rock the crop top, if you feel great in it, then go for it. But in general, when you're dressing too young for your age, it can actually do the opposite and make you look older. The next mistake is only wearing comfortable shoes and comfortable clothing. Like you've given up all sense of fashion and style and you know, you hit a certain age and you're like, I don't care anymore. I just want to wear what's comfortable. To me, that just feels like you're giving up. Like if you don't care about what you look like, what you wear, how you present yourself in the world, to me, it, it talks about a reflection about who you are on the inside. But I'm not saying you have to like dress up, like, you know, put on your stilettos every day, but you want to wear something that, it, yes, if comfort is one of your main things that you want to look for in your clothes, look for comfort, but you also can be stylish at the same time. So find that balance. Like don't just buy ugly shoes because they're comfortable. I see that so often that will, that just ages someone. It's like those homes that have those lace curtains in them. I, when I walk past a house, it could be a beautiful home, but if I see on the inside, there's those like old lace curtains, you automatically know that an older person lives there. Unless you really don't care and you just want to give up, avoid wearing things just because they're comfortable. Another mistake I see women especially do as they get older is they start to wear bigger clothes because they think that, you know, if they have some more problem areas, they think that bigger clothes are going to hide those problem areas. So this again does the opposite. When you're trying to hide your body under clothes by wearing bigger sizes or wearing things that don't have a shape, don't have structure to them, you're actually creating the opposite effect. You actually look bigger and you actually look more dowdy, which then will make you look older. This is a really strong opinion, but I absolutely hate cowl necks, especially cowl neck sweaters. I just feel like that extra fabric there, it just, it's not flattering. It just looks like extra. Wearing cowl neck sweaters, in my opinion, definitely ages you. It just makes you look older. I feel again, like it's that you know, I've kind of given up a little bit. Like there's no structure to it. There's no, like a cowl neck just feels like blah. The next mistake is mom jeans. Now, in my opinion, mom jeans are only cool if you're not a mom. Now, it could, there, there are cooler styles of mom jeans, but in general, like the mom jeans that are super baggy and they're, there's kind of not like, they're not kind of, there's not a fit to them or they're just oversized. I mean, that looks cute. Like when I see, you know, like a 15 year old wearing it with a crop top, like that's a style, that's a, a look. But a mom wearing, you know, baggy oversized mom jeans can kind of just look more sloppy and make her look older. The next thing that automatically will date you is Bermuda shorts. Bermuda shorts, are like cowl necks. They automatically make somebody look 10 years older. They're not flattering on anyone. Now, if you're someone that you just have a hard time with shorts, I know a lot of women, 
especially over a certain age, they just have a hard time wearing shorts because they, you know, they're insecure about their legs or they don't feel great about their legs. I think dresses is a great alternative. Just, you know, wearing dresses or skirts that come just hit at the knee or just above the knee or even just past the knee. I think that's a great alternative. Or even there's a pair of denim shorts that are longer that are by, by A. Goldie. They're called the Parker Long. I'll link them down below. They are my favorite denim shorts. You do want to size up though because they're for more relaxed fit. But they fit like no other denim shorts. And so many of my clients who have a hard time with shorts love these shorts. But back to the Bermuda shorts. Bermuda shorts, they're just not flattering. So just don't wear them. The next mistake that may be aging you is when you're just wearing too many statement pieces together. Now, I don't know if any of you are old enough like me where you used to watch Three's Company and you knew the character Mrs. Roper. Now, Mrs. Roper wore these like, you know, super colorful patterned like moo moo dresses with this crazy statement jewelry. And I mean, that was her, that was her character. She was meant to be over the top and she did it really well. But you looked at her and automatically you knew she was older. So you don't wanna do the same thing. If you're if you're trying to look current and look your age and feel confident in your age, then you wanna stay away from just too many statement pieces, too many things that are just drawing your eye all over the place because too much can look a little crazy. Now on the other spectrum is when you're dressing too old for your age. Again, when you get to a certain age, it doesn't mean you don't need to be stylish anymore or you can't be stylish anymore or you can't have fun with your wardrobe or you can't look great anymore. Like it doesn't, you know, I love those women that are like in their 80s and even 90s that just look impeccable. They look so refined and elevated and beautiful no matter what their age is and they look current and present. You can just tell that aesthetics and beauty is still important to them. And I think that when we get to a certain age, some of us might just, you know, just go towards sweatpants or, you know, wearing things just because again, going, going back to the comfortable thing, but you don't need to dress too old for your age. You don't need to wear, you know, skirts that go down to the floor because you're trying to hide everything. And I'm not talking about the, you know, the cute, you know, midi skirts and whatnot. Just try to find things that feel right for you. Don't dress like your daughter and don't dress like your mom either. Kind of along that last mistake, sweater sets. Sweater sets, I know they're, I don't know, they're kind of in or they're kind of in and out, whatever, whatever it may be. But sweater sets to me just feel like, like when I look for a sweater set, it's because I'm trying to dress someone on a commercial who is a secretary in her 50s and we're gonna add a pearl necklace to it and she's just kind of like typing away. That's what, in my mind, that's what I think of when I think of sweater sets. Sweater sets are not, you know, unless it's like a fun, cool, you know, thing out of the box, but in general, like the traditional sweater sets, like again, they just age you. They just, they make us look dowdy or they make women look like secretaries from the fifties. I also think as we get older, it's helpful to have a classic timeless style. Now your personal style, doesn't need to just be defined as classic, but I think it's important that that's one of the elements of your style, to be timeless. It will take you into whatever phase of life you're in and make you look fresh and modern and current. I define myself as having classic and edgy and a little bit of feminine in my style. And that might evolve and change as I get older and as I go into other phases of my life, but I believe the classic element will stay with me along the way. If you wanna know more fashion mistakes that aren't necessarily related to age, but fashion mistakes that are really common for women, go ahead and watch this next video here where I tell you some of the most common fashion mistakes and also how to fix them. So thanks so much for watching. Thanks for being here. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button for new videos every Thursday. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you soon.